Peter Solberg, Sebastian Loeb, and even Ken Block, big names in motorsport. And fighting for the title of best always been an extreme athlete. But it is only since 2008 that he has since become famous for his daredevil drifts. Since then, he's known almost everywhere and he has a huge fan base. In 2016, Ken Block will participate the entire season in the Rally Cross Championship. He'll compete against rally pros such as Sebastian Loeb and Peter Solberg. It's uh, one of the newest um, world championships in the FIA calendar. Um, Rallycross has been around for 50 years, but in terms of taking it to a world championship status, this will be the, th uh, the third season that we've been uh, uh, an official FIA world championship. Well, for this series, I mean, obviously, you know, power and handling is a very big deal. You know, we need to be able to get the power down to the ground, and that's really what we've worked a lot on with this chassis and the suspension, really how to take the power that we're getting out of this engine and try and get it on the ground and get us moving forward as quick as possible. The fastest way to move up and cross the finish line in at least third place. The best six drivers from the semi-finals will have the chance to get onto the podium and seal the victory. Because it's also about important championship points, also in the final. No one gives anything away here. Finally, a rally in a stadium which brings an awful lot of excitement with it, especially with famous names such as Sebastian Loeb, Peter Solberg and Ken Block. Over 12 race weekends, not only do these three always want to be the best, the competition in the series is very tough. What a car like this looks like from the inside is shown by Andreas Bakkerud, driver of the Hoonigan Racing Division from Ken Block. So this is uh, the inside of my Ford Focus uh, RS RX. Uh, like you can see, it's uh, all the weight is put really low to the ground to get the best possible um, transaction of weight and stuff like that. Gear shifter on the outside of the handbrake. Everything is built so from the start that we can just release the, uh, the handbrake like this, straight leg to the clutch, um, have a quite advanced steering wheel. With, uh, I, I feel it's some of the nicest part of the, of the car. Quite a lot of buttons, uh, a hoon button, which uh, I'm sure Ken is involved with. Uh, haven't used it yet, but uh, it's nice to have. <laughs> uh, here we also have all the all the settings for the start and for the launch. Um, every panel is uh, on the gear tunnel, putting it low. Uh, weights and and uh, fire extensors stuff on the ground. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, pretty much it, much it. The roller cage is massive. Carbon seat. I feel comfortable. So yeah, fun car. Crowd pullers like Peter Solberg and Cam Block, a program with stunt shows in the hole in the middle of a stadium, these are all reasons why the WRX is getting more well known and draws lots of spectators into the stadiums. In addition to the race, the popular rig riot belongs to a proper racing series. The audience loves it. A few scantily clad women swing their hips and dance on the stage, like there's no tomorrow. The t-shirts fly off and everyone completely freaks out.
The organizers also aim to guarantee a good party atmosphere during the rally. That the only rallycross champion so far, Peter Solberg, puts in good times in his DS3 Citroen is clear. No wonder that he is likely to take second place. The most famous rally driver in the world, Sebastian Loeb, in the Peugeot 208, achieved seventh. Also, Liam Duran of JRM Racing, who inherited his rally genes from his father, Pat Duran, can try to take the weekend victory in his Mini Cooper to England. It only actually really gets going in the semi-finals, and for Cam Block, it is a disappointing weekend. The other drivers, on the other hand, are diligently preparing their cars for the semi-finals and to set them up optimally. There everyone has to pitch in to get the vehicles back on their feet in short time. Because the contact is harder, the driver's more aggressive, and the cars already look better. But not only the technology has to work, at least as important is that the drivers are fully concentrated on everything. In the first semi-final, a thrilling race for third place between the newcomers Larsen and DTM driver Ekström, which against all odds was decided in the end by Larsson. In the second race, Solberg, Loeb and Bakarud compete against each other. The reigning world champion against the best rally drivers in the world and the young Norwegian who was already shown in the heats that he's not to be underestimated. Solberg continues with his DS3 to the top and can no longer be caught up, but the battle for third place is really exciting. Bakarud has made a mistake and dropped back to fourth place, but with a risky overtaking, the Focus RS pilot manages to get back to third place. The winner, Salberg, seems to know that it will not be an easy final. I'm very happy, and uh, after yesterday, you know, we, it was in a little bit different situation, and uh, that's when you have to calm down a little bit to really focus and think and, you know, not take any risk and try to get uh, everything together again. And that's what they have done, and, um, and a fantastic victory there on the, in the semi, and a uh, lot of world championship points, and now it's the final, so... We know Christofferson is very hard here, so I just have to do absolutely everything I can and, and push on him. Yeah. This is an exciting finale. All have the ability to win and all are fighting. Solberg has a good start and manages to get into the lead in the first curve. Andreas Bakaru tries to fight to the front and to get a place on the podium. The hard battles don't go unscathed. In the end, the Norwegian Solberg does it and brings home the victory. His compatriot Bakaru just misses a place on the podium. I tell you, I pushed 110% in the semi-final and the final, you know, I, I really went maximum and it worked out okay. And uh, that feeling is, uh, is incredible. We're doing a world championship here and with Sebastian Loeb and Matthias Ekström and Ken Block, you know, a lot of good drivers, so you have to be on the case. The WRX, big names in a racing series that is hard to be surpassed in terms of excitement and entertainment value fighting between cars and drivers that are reminiscent of a crash challenge and in the middle can block. 